Welcome to Subramani. <clears throat> Here is an interesting note from a reader uh, or viewer, as I would call. But she had sent this on an email. Uh, let me call her C. And uh, she says, I am trying to get my uh, husband. Uh, she uses the word partner, but they are married. So I am saying her, my husband, on board with the idea that we can do this. We live in different cities, but we are doing well. Uh, I make about uh, 20 lakhs, and he makes about 32 lakhs. Uh, I am 37; he is 35. Uh, my net worth is about uh, slightly under two crores. I wouldn't know his exact net worth, uh, and I've been in the workforce for a few years, uh, and uh, uh, I I spent my 20s making a lot of financial mistakes, and uh, but he's a successful lawyer. he cannot relocate only i have to relocate uh, and uh, he is paid off all his loans he has no liabilities or anything and he should have a decent net worth when i begin began working uh, in 2014 my net worth was negative because i had made lot of financial mistakes uh, but now it has reached uh, not too bad figure of about 1.7 1.8 crores About 35% of my take-home goes into retirement, and I probably save about 50% of my net take-home. He also saves a substantial percentage, maybe about 70%. Uh, but um, I would call it about 40% because he only uh, puts it in savings account and uh, debt uh, instruments. He does not invest much in equity. <clears throat> and uh, i am trying to tell him to invest the rest as you put it in your videos because savings do nothing except depreciate your net worth uh, net worth so as you see i am trying to convince him but i have no clue how do you have any links which i can send to him which uh, he will read and be convinced uh, the way i see it we can together be financially secure and be able to cons- reconsider working uh by the time i am 45 that if we pool all our savings uh, he is skeptical and wants to do more research so i don't know how he is going to do more research but he is not convinced that we will be able to retire i am not saying that we will be very rich but our living expenses are not much it is only about uh, 75000 uh, per month which is about 9 lakhs and as you say 30 times that is 2.7 crores so 2.7 crores we will definitely have by the time i myself will have that much money right so do you have any favorite posts or resources which i can send him uh, will it do a better job to get him convinced that we can retire in the next 5 7 years i know that you are communicative and your resources come hand picked and delivered by you personally to help my cause Uh, i would i know that would be difficult for you but i have been up and down your side but i am all and your uh, uh, videos uh, but i am wondering as to what in absolute top writings of getting something skeptical okay so uh, that was all the nice part uh, when i say you need 60 times your uh, or 30 times your uh, annual income that is at the age of 60 not at the age of 45 at the age of 45 maybe you need 40 times right so that is about 3.6 crores yes 3.6 crores is uh, adequate and uh, the one thing which i forgot to tell you this couple has taken a decision not to have children <coughs> they have no their their parents were financially independent so they don't need money for the earlier generation or for the next generation that's a safe assumption with their making and now they are right now they are young and the parents are only in their 70s so uh, parents could live longer they might need to help them physically financially i don't know i'm not commenting but yes this money could be adequate but uh you need to uh, do other things first of all you need to take adequate medical insurance she has not mentioned anything about how much of medical insurance she has so better to take that and also uh, you are talking of predicting for 55 years right if you both retire at 45 she is slightly older than him maybe 2 years older than him so i am assuming that 2 2 years older this way that way doesn't matter so i am assuming both are 35 both could live for another uh, 65 years and uh, she is talking of retiring in 7 years so let us give her a little more time maybe she can retire when uh, she is 45 and he would also be almost 45 more importantly he is a lawyer there is very little chance that he will want to give up at that age because uh, 
he is just started making a good name for himself and is making money so he may not uh, at uh, from a uh, from a uh, professional career point of view he may not want to retire at such an young age right so it's too young for a lawyer to retire at 45 even though he is earning adequately well now so he may want to continue in his profession he may want to add on to he may want to become a partner so all those things could be uh, shopping him and he may be just telling you that i don't think we have adequate money that must be a shield is using to hide the fact that he still wants to create a mark for himself name for himself right nobody wants to sit at home at 45 and wondering what to do maybe he's not please understand one thing uh, miss c mrs c uh, everybody is not looking forward to giving up what they are currently doing and retire right so somebody has gone to the trouble of doing your uh, b ms and phd they don't want to give up everything at 45 just because they have adequate money they still feel they've got lot of work ahead they can contribute to themselves to society they want to make money there is nothing wrong with all that right nothing wrong in somebody wanting to drive a luxury car and not a small hatchback maybe you want a hatchback maybe your husband wants a luxury car maybe he wants luxury vacations you want ordinary backpack vacations right you maybe he travels only by a business class and you travel uh, uh, economy right so he may want to be doing his trips abroad in uh, first class which can really set you back by a mile uh in your uh, retirement process so find out what he actually wants retirement and having adequate money for retirement is a very very small part of retirement please understand money is a very small portion in retirement of course when before we retire we think it is the most important thing but if you are nicely making a mark in your life if everybody is recognizing you if you are getting good work your way all that is happening you are not really in a hurry to retire you don't want to tell the world oh i am retired i am doing nothing or you don't want to retire and to travel maybe you will do that later on maybe at 45 both of you can slow down the pace and say okay we will take annual vacations we will take 20 day vacations we will take 40 day vacations right when you are working you take 3 day 4 day vacations you want to travel on a friday evening come back on the monday morning right you want to do that kind of vacations here you may do it you may travel from a monday to friday and uh, say saturday sunday i'll be at home those kind of things you start doing see how he is reacting to it or is he on the phone throughout the time that you are on vacation and is uh, handling work so he is very clear that he wants to work for a much longer time than you want to work right so this could also happen then there is conflict between husband and wife as to when the wife wants to retire and when the husband wants to retire it may not coincide perfectly all right if you are saying that you are in different cities go to a city or where he is practicing because a lawyer is unlikely to leave the city from where uh, he has built his practice unless of course he is going from say De- bombay to delhi to develop his supreme court practice and uh, not so much of his high court practice so anyway big lawyers keep traveling between bombay delhi chennai bangalore wherever there is a important case they keep flying they have lab one base so you decide that you want to retire you have adequate money you take a call or you say okay i will live in the city where he is she has not mentioned the cities i will live in the city in which he is therefore i may make lesser money i am compromising on my job Uh, and i will do the job a little lighter and i may start traveling with my friend circle etc i'll pull him along for one vacation but other vacations i'll do on my own find out what you want to do with your time find out what he wants to do with his time if at all if he does not want to what is the point in forcing somebody to retire and say look uh, we have as much money as what subra says we should have so we should retire not true at all <clears throat> there are two types of retirement one is a push retirement you don't like your job you don't like your boss you don't like the work that you're doing so that is pushing you out or your company is saying oh people above 45 we don't want to keep we want to give a vrs or something like that so that's a push retirement the pull retirement where you're saying oh i got this hobby i want photography i want to travel i want to do cycling i want to join the gym i want to play golf that is the pull uh, retirement a pull retirement keeps you happier a push retirement makes you very sad uh you don't know what to do you could be hit by mental mental illness right so be careful about all those things see what he wants see what you want see how you can achieve it by staying together or staying in different cities achieve that so of course uh, you, both of you are cannot retire before the age of 45 because there could be some other uh, expenses etc but even at 45 he may not want to retire and you may want to retire at 42 if that suits you 
uh, travel to the city where he is, stay there, take up a job and uh, he is not going to tell you that uh, uh, don't do this and don't do that. So, you do it. If he sees you enjoying it, maybe he will copy and follow you. That's the way to go about it. Don't try to do it because if you push him into retirement and then something goes wrong, he'll say, see, because of you, I gave up my practice. Don't ever do that. Thank you.